Pokemon, today we finish this. Hey, Zach, why must they fight you? We are not enemies. Shut up. What's going on, everybody? Steam with Game Pal Masters. I just wanted to start this video off by saying Mega Man 8 does not suck. Mega Man 8. Let's get this out of the way first. The voice acting sucks. Yeah, yeah. Dr. Light sounds just like Elmer Fudd. Yeah, I know. Let's recover all the energy immediately, Mega Man. But where is Dr. Wily? That's a good question. We may be able to locate another energy emission from... And that's the sad thing. It seems like everyone hates Mega Man 8 because of the cutscenes and crappy voice acting. But in my opinion, Mega Man 8 isn't that much different than any of the other Mega Man games in the series. And while I personally never cared for the voice acting, I always did enjoy the cutscenes. As far as the gameplay is in Mega Man 8, it is Mega Man. It's not really anything much different than we played in any of the NES games. The controls are tight and responsive, and you're fighting tons and tons of strange robots. The game features eight robot masters just as any other normal Mega Man game would. The only difference is, is that after you beat the first four set of robot masters, you unlock the second set of four robot masters. But I do understand the complaint that Mega Man 8 doesn't feature the best robot masters in the series. But other than Clown Man, they're not really that bad. But no matter what, the Mega Man formula is still the same. Beat one Robot Master, take his power, and use it against the next Robot Master. Same as always. The only big difference I see between Mega Man 8 and the old Mega Man games is the graphical upgrade. And that shouldn't be a big difference. I mean, nobody complained when Mario came out for the Super Nintendo. And I know a lot of you guys are probably saying, But Steven, Super Mario World didn't suck! And that's the thing. This game is far from sucking. I've played games that are terrible, awful, and Mega Man 8 is not one of them. Another complaint a lot of Mega Man fans have is the music isn't very good. And I don't understand how anybody could say that Mega Man 8's music isn't good. Every song in the Mega Man 8 soundtrack suits the Robot Master stage perfectly. Mega Man 8 is one of those soundtracks that you'll just go on YouTube and listen to every now and then just because you want to hear some of the songs. And another complaint a lot of people have is that this game isn't very hard, but if you remember, Mega Man 2 was never really that difficult either. And I really hope there aren't people saying, But Steven, Mega Man 2 didn't suck! But still, Mega Man 8 isn't a bad game. It's not the best game ever made or even the best Mega Man game ever made. But it's a decent game. As far as the presentation goes, I think they took it in the right direction. I mean, a lot of people back in 1997 would have been pissed off if they bought a PlayStation game that was 8-bit. But then I bet there are still people saying, Oh, I would love buying an 8-bit PlayStation game. But this game has beautiful artwork, and the sprites look great. So I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Mega Man 8 is a good game. And I know a lot of people are going to start freaking out about it. Oh man. Man, he did... I can't believe it just said Mega Man 8 is good. Jeez! Well, I'm already prepared for all the hate and dislikes I'm going to get from all the people that think Mega Man 8 is the worst game and the bane of Mega Man's existence, I'm prepared for it. But Mega Man 8 is far from a terrible game. So this has been Steam with Game Pie Masters just saying that Mega Man 8 doesn't suck. Thanks for watching. Hey, just so you guys know, there'll be no video this weekend. I'll be going out of town this weekend, so the next video will be out in two weeks. And this is a video I've been working on for a little while, so hopefully you guys check it out, and see you in two weeks. Hey, and just so you guys know, there won't be a video coming out next week, but really hamsters? Really? <laughs>